Are you looking for the best portable heater? I've got this one right here. I unboxed it in a previous video and now I'm back to give my full on review of it. So let's get into this. First of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have, and well, companies send to me. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So just as an overall unit, I really like this product. I'll link it up down in the description below too if you guys wanna check it out. You can go read other people's reviews, not just take my word for it. But um, this little portable heater puts out some heat. And one thing, and I mentioned this in the previous video that I really like about it, is how low profile it is. So I can put it on the floor and then uh, it, it'll warm up my feet. My feet stay cold in the wintertime a whole lot. And so it's nice to have a heater that's a little bit more lower to the ground so that it heats up more of my feet. Um, one thing that I do, that I have to say that I don't like about this product is how short the cord is. I, th I thought it was going to be enough in the, in the unboxing video. It's about four feet long. About, yeah. And um, that's just not enough, I find, for a space heater. If it just had like two more feet, I think it would be great. Um, but uh, as far as the cord length, that's probably the biggest downfall that I have. Now it's very simple to operate too. I really love the simplicity of this. First of all, you do have to remember that it has this auto shut off switch on the bottom, which does work very well. If you have it on and it tips over or whatever, it's gonna automatically kill it. And, um, and so that it doesn't cause fire, nothing gets heated up too much or whatever, anything like that. It also does have an on off switch on the back here. So you wanna be, make sure that you turn that thing on before you try and fire up the heater. Um, on the top here, there's simply three buttons. I'm holding down that auto switch. I can show y'all just to let you know. Um, there's three simple buttons here. There's the on off. And it does it, it's like a heat sensitive touch. You don't actually have to press anything. Um, it comes on very, very easily. Uh, there's three different modes there and you can tell that it's on from the light on the bottom. Right now, it's shining a little red. And then that's the fan mode right there. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry, that was, I'm pressing, I'm doing the wrong one. That's on off right there, and then the, here's the mode. It does a blue for fan mode, so if you just wanna run it as a fan with no heat, so you can use that in the summertime, or just on a nice day and you want a little bit of wind going, works well. And then there's a, a low heat, and then a high heat, and a high heat, low heat, high heat. Uh, and then there's also the swing, so if you want it to uh, go from side to side like that. It's got a decent arc to it. I don't know the exact angle that they have here. Um, if I can find it, I'll link. I'll put it down in the description below. And uh, just to give you guys an idea. It's not a huge arc, I will say that. I think it's enough to cover a decent size area, especially with a small heater like this. You're not really like trying to you know, take up a full giant room. It's mainly just to kind of keep a certain small space warm. That's why it's a small portable heater. It'd be great for like a camper or an RV or something like that in my opinion. But uh, that's, the, that's the gist of the buttons up there on top. Uh, it does have the four little rubber feet on the bottom here, so it helps to, to stay in place very, very nicely. And I've, I've sat here and tried to move this thing a lot. And it, uh, let's see, look, it stays in place very well. I'm putting a lot of force on that right there to get that to move. So um, the rubber feet work very nice on there. Um, and all in all, great little portable heater. Highly recommend it, especially if you have a camper or something like that, or a small like workspace, uh, work area, workshop, anything like that. I can definitely recommend something like this. If you guys want to check out uh, some other, I never reviewed it. No, I, nah, I don't know if I've reviewed other fan uh, heaters, but I do have a fan. I've reviewed, I've done a few fans. I'll put those right there on the screen. I'll see y'all in some of those videos. Oh, an electric blanket. That's what you guys need. I'm gonna put one of these to be an electric blanket. Go and watch that video. I uh, love my electric blanket. I was using it last night. Put that on the screen. If you guys want to watch more, thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out.